Can you let me in? No! Go away! Please! I need help! Well, who are you? I'm hurt. Please! Can I just use your phone or anything just for a minute? 
please. What do you want? Do you know what time it is, for God's sake? What are you doing here? Please, let me in. Cheryl, I think I've busted my arm. Please. Okay. Well, hurry before we both freeze to death. Here, put that down. Oh. Sit down there. You're freezing, you poor thing. Oh. I'm sorry there's no electric. The lights went out with a storm earlier. And they've been flickering on and off for ages, but I think they've finally given up the ghost. Oh, I don't mind. <laughs> It's better than me out there. What the devil are you doing out on a night like this? Lucky you didn't catch your death. Thanks for opening the door. It's fucking freezing out there. Yeah, precisely. I'll find you another blanket. It's all fine. I'm fine. <sighs> Found a towel. This'll do, won't it? Do I know you? <sighs> what have you done to yourself? Let me see. <sighs> Don't be a baby. I used to be a nurse. Well, I wanted to be. <sighs> I helped the nurses. Anyway, let me see. Well, do you think it's broken? When you fell, did you feel it break or hear it snap? Oh, fuck knows. I heard something, but it could have been the bits of wood or twigs I fell on. Uh, I really need to... Ow! Ah. <laughs> yep. Uh, fuck. Hmm. Can you move it at all? Your fingers? I don't think you'd be able to move your fingers if it was broken. I remember when my little boy broke his arm. And I think he'd be in a lot more pain. More pain? I was like a bastard already. How did you fall? I was, I was running and... I don't know, I tripped over a fucking tree stump and... Bam, down I fucking went. Look, I know you're in pain, but I really would appreciate it if you wouldn't swear quite so much. My husband always swore and I hated it. I'm sure it's not that necessary. But it hurts, like... 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 A lot. There. That's better. Let's start again. 
So we're looking at just above the elbow. Well, I think you need to take the weight off it for a start. There's a scarf I saw somewhere. Can use it as a sling. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Sorry, can't see a flaming thing. Hello? Hello? Why are you shouting? I'm just here. Found a scarf. Now, let's pop this off. <clears throat> right, just lift your arm up a little bit. Uh. Pop this through there. That's it. Put on our clothes. Put on our clothes. So early in the morning. There. How's that? Better? Yeah. Much better. Thanks. See? Mm. I told you I used to be a nurse. <laughs> I would phone for a doctor, but I'm afraid the phone is dead. <laughs> What's silver and doesn't work? This telephone. <laughs> <coughs> Not that it would make much difference. Elaine is bad enough in the daytime. Far too dangerous at night. I doubt you'd be able to get a signal either, my love. Middle of nowhere, hadn't you noticed? I've got no battery left anyway. Oh. It's, it's OK, just let me warm up a bit and um, rest and then I'll get out of your way. You want to go back out there again? In this? You want to break your neck as well? was light! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> you okay? Oh! Oh, what a bugger. Or as you might want to say, what a fucking bugger. <laughs> Oh well, looks like you're stuck here for the night. And if that's the case, I for one would like to know your name. I'm Joyce. Oh. <laughs> I'm John. John? It's a lovely name. Always liked it. It's 
nice to meet you, John. I'd also prefer more candles if I can find any. <laughs> So how far from town are we? Oh, many, many miles, John. Many, many miles. It is a very lonely house you found here. Very lonely and very dark. I'd say it was about 10, 11 miles to the village. Although, it's easy to go round and round in circles at night in the dark, so you could end up walking 20. I've been lost loads of times walking out there in the middle of the night. What? Why were you out walking in the middle of the night? You know. But it's nice to go walking at night. It's peaceful. There's lots of reasons to go walking at night. Walking the dog? They always need walking. That's enough reasons to go walking at night, isn't it? Have you got a dog? No, of course I haven't got a dog. Do you see a dog? I'm just saying that if you had a dog, it would need walking at night. Besides, I can walk anywhere, anytime. I don't need permission. I am allowed. Young John with the 20 questions. Huh, who's in charge here? Sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. I just, I just think I may need a doctor for my arm, that's all. Yes, I know, your arm, your arm. You poor thing. I'm sorry. It's so late and I've hardly slept with this blooming weather and what with the lights flickering on and off, it's, it's enough to drive anyone up, up the wall, isn't it? You must be tired. Yes, I am very. Just had to make the best of it. Sit it out till morning. Looks freezing out there. Not much better in here. <laughs> Used to love watching storms as a child from the window. How old are you? When I was 11, there was a storm. Huge. Hellish. I'm 19. No one would let me watch it, though. I was too little. Stay away from the window, girl. It's dangerous. 
They were all at the bloody window, though, both my parents and my older brother. There was a massive bolt of lightning and the window was struck. My father was killed instantly. And my mother lost an eye. My brother was cut badly, but nothing more. Hey, it's fine. My mother, she wears a pretty diamante eye patch now. And my brother, well, he recovered with only a few scars, so. Oh, my father. Didn't like him much anyway, so it's all good. Now I can do what I like. I can watch any storm I want from the window. Though, frankly, there's not much to see, is there? Just a lot of leaves blowing about. <laughs> Don't know what all the fuss was. Certainly not worth losing an eye over. Still. So, what am I going to do with you, John? I mean, what can we do to while away the hours on this long, dark night? Any ideas? John? What do you mean? Look, I'm only 19. You're okay looking. No, you're, you're really pretty for your age, but you're just so much older than me. What are you blithering on about? I just think you're a bit too old for me. And my arm really hurts. What? I... <laughs> I'm not interested in you. <laughs> Goodness, that's hilarious. <laughs> I'm not Mrs. Robinson. Oh, you've no idea who I'm talking about, do you? She's what you might call the ultimate cougar, which I am not. The very idea. <laughs> Besides, you need to have two fully workable arms to have any chance with me. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you've made me all coy now. You're so naughty. enough to be
Look what I found. Monopoly, Scrabble, even a jigsaw. Well, I hate jigsaws. Don't know why I brought that out. Keep us occupied for days. Um, I'm pretty thought out. <laughs> Bit warmer at least. Um, might be able to get going soon. What do you think? Perhaps you could give me directions. For goodness sake. What's the rush, John? I'm not going to jump on you. I thought we'd establish that. Dog. I'm always the dog. <sighs> okay, okay, your arm, I know. I'll drive you to the village once it gets light. As soon as my husband gets back in the... in the, um... How are you feeling? Good. I'm feeling really good. When is he back? Morning, is it? Yes, the morning, of course, silly woman. Maybe it's the afternoon he's back. I'm sure he wasn't going to go for long. I mean, he... He didn't pack very much, hardly anything at all. He really should have told me, though. Let me know, you know? He'll be back, don't you worry. Anyway, whenever he's back, I'll take the cart and you'll be returned to civilization. How's that? Great. Nice that you have a husband. Men in the voter. Yes, he's my husband. We're married. We're very happily married. I'm sure. Oh, you're sure, are you? Nice that you have a husband. Just glad you're not out here alone. Alone? Out here? <laughs> How silly! Alone? Oh, besides, I'm not the one running around in the middle of a forest with a bloody broken arm, am I, John? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. <sighs> Have you got any painkillers? Well, as you're in such pain, I'll see if I can find anything in my cupboards for it.
Here's your painkillers. Oh, thanks. Can we light the fire? Oh, stupid. There's no power. But it's a real fire. Is <laughs> light? I'm fine, thanks. Here. Oh, the flame's getting quite big. That looks all right. I'm not going to set the house on fire. I don't think. Don't think poking is going to. I'm not poking it. Don't poke I'm it. I'm not going to poke it. See, told you I'm not poking it. There. What do you think? Um, that looks all right, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it looks fine. <sighs> That's going to take a while, isn't it? Oh, I am sorry. I'll see if I can't find you a hot water bottle, shall I? Or an electric blanket, perhaps? But then there's no power, so that won't work, will it? Obviously missed the telegram. Sorry. I mean, if I'd known you were coming, I'd have had the West Wing aired. And I wouldn't have given the staff the night off. Miserable little fucker. Fucking warm here. I'm really sorry for being a misery guts. It's just the electric being out is really getting to me. Anyway, let me make it up to you. Look what I've got. Quack, quack. Ah. Oops. My fault. I hate board games, don't you? I couldn't find any glasses, so mugs it is. But it all goes down the same way. Ah, just a ticket. This will warm us up. Who needs a bloody fire? as cosy as this. <laughs> mm. Where are you 
you from, John? Do you live with your parents? Don't you think they'll be worried about you? Long way away. What's your mother like, John? Actually, she's... She's a lot like you. I've not seen her in a very long time. I'd be seven or nearly eight, eight years now. She sent me away. Why? Had you been bad? You can tell me. I can keep a secret. Here. Maybe this will help you to remember. What could have made her send you away? What did you do to make her do that? Look at us. Ooh, open fire, brandy, blankets, <laughs> cabin in the woods, miles from nowhere. <sighs> Almost like family. All right, like friends then. It's a bit like that film. Oh, what's it called? Oh, flippin' heck. You know it. You do, that, that classic film, The Horror. All those kids getting murdered one after the other. Uh, Cabin in the Woods. Cabin in the Woods? That's not even a film. Yes, it is. Well, I've never heard of it. No, there was a black lake. Michael, Michael Myers, was it? Justin, Jason. Friday the 13th. Told you I knew it. Blooming cottage in the woods. <laughs> Friday the 13th. That was about a mother. Drink up, mystery man. What do you mean? Well, you've come here out of nowhere, and I don't even know your surname. Um, I assume you have a surname. Are you hungry? I'm gonna see what's in the fridge. Not him. Six, seven, eight, nine. Everything will be fine. I'm in control.
found a block of cheese and some mayo in the fridge. I think it's brown bread, <laughs> but it's hard to tell in this light. All fresh, though, and chilled, so the electric can't have been off for very long. Funny, the fridge light. Don't you know how long the power's been off? <laughs> what? You said you didn't know how long the power's been off. Didn't you notice when it went off? No, didn't notice. OK. Well, I've been out, haven't I? What, in the cold? You said I was man being out in this. Yes, I've been out. Perhaps I was walking the dog. Mm. Nice cheese sandwich. Mm. Drink up before it evaporates. I think I've had enough. Listen, you look like I feel. And you need to sleep. It'll help you sleep, so don't waste it. Drink it. I'm going to bed now, anyway. Squinting at you through the dark is giving me a headache. And I wouldn't sleep there if I were you. Not with your arm as it is. Sleep in the spare bed and get your strength back ready to leave first thing in the morning. How's that sound? Great. Thanks. The bedrooms are through there and up the stairs. My one is the first one on the left, and you're right next door. All good? Mm-hmm. OK. Well, then I'll bid you good night, John. Mm -hmm. What name should I put on the bill for your room? <laughs> um, Simons. OK. Night, night. John Simons. It's mean taking it away like that.
Stretching your legs? I just needed some fresh air. Can I...? I was just keeping a swarm, by the way. Last night, when I got into bed with you, I was just keeping a swarm. There's nothing dirty. OK, Joyce. OK, Joyce. See anything interesting in the shed? Why do children always sneak around poking their noses? I'm not a child anymore, Joyce. Is that so? I just wanted to see... To if... see if I had a car, a bicycle, four elephants and a drum kit. Tell me, what were you wanting to see? Please, Joyce. Mrs Hadley, I think I'd like to be called from now on. Thank you. Joyce is too familiar, and you don't know me. Please, Mrs. Hadley, try it. Please, Mrs. Hadley. Thank you. Now, what is it that you'd like to ask me? I'd like to ask... No, John, I think you'd like to tell me something. Correct? Tell you? Yes, John, tell me. Let's start with the backpack, shall we? For instance, why it never leaves your side, not even for a moment. Although, that's not strictly true, is it? You didn't notice it disappear for ten minutes while you were asleep, did you? You've been through my things. No, John. I haven't been through your things. Because none of what is in that backpack belongs to you, does it? Unless you've lost a few pounds, gained a small child and look incredibly young for 43. I didn't steal it, if that's what you think. Whose is it, John? Who does it belong to and how did you get it? You can stop this, Joyce. You need to open your eyes now. You can fight this. You can. Look at the picture. Having trouble? Let me go, Joyce. You don't want to go through all this again. Where do you want to go, John? Let me leave, Joyce. Open this door for your own sake. Now, what sort of person would I be if I simply let a lying little thief loose into the community? What? I mean, I feel so guilty just letting you walk out. <laughs> don't do this, Joyce. What if you run off? Mm, Joyce! Or steal someone's passport? <laughs> Or savings! Joyce, remember! It's Mrs. Fucking Hadley! Uh. Gotcha. Uh. Open this door! Open this fucking door! Don't be. He wants to leave. Why does everyone want to leave? Remember the gun choice. 
Remember what it did. Oh, my God. And don't shoot me, please, John. You need to let me go. Please don't kill me. I don't want to die. I'm so sorry, please. <laughs> Unless you're going to club me to death with the handle. But then, you're forgetting. I'm still... holding the poker. There's nowhere to go, John. Everywhere is locked. You should know that by now. That's better. See, you're in control. You are. <sighs> you don't need to do this to me, Joyce. Think about what's happening. Change things. Don't listen to him. Joyce! Mrs. Hadley! Mrs. Hadley! Oh. <laughs> Your mama's little darling. I'm sorry, okay? Whatever it is I've done, I'm sorry. Please. Whatever it is you've done? <laughs> Whatever it is that you've done? You steal my husband's bag. His money, his passport. Then you break into my house. I didn't. The last couple of times I was too young to make you see. But this time, remember who I am. You took him from me. That's it, Joyce. You're remembering. And now you want to shoot me too. No, that's not what happened. Well, I'm going to defend myself. And to no one is going to blame me for it. No one will blame me at all! Oh! Get that out of my face! Please. I need you to understand. I'm going to punish you, John. You know I have to. You better not be trying to leave. I know what you're doing. Better watch that drop, John. Might break the other arm.
don't have to do this, Joyce. There's still time to stop. Stop what? Who am I? Say my name. You're John. I'm your John. He's lying. No. My John was 10 years old. My John was a conniving little boy. He made my husband hate me, took him away from me. My John was a naughty, spoiled little shit. Go to your room. No, I was just a little boy, a normal little boy, me, nine years ago. Oh. You can make this right, please. Let me leave. No, I can't, don't you understand? It's the only thing that stops the pain. Let the pain in. Go through the pain. We can go through it together. It hurts too much. I'm too scared. You have to be punished. It's the way it is. It's the way it has to be. Time's up, Joyce. Do it. I'm sorry. Do it. Ah! <laughs> Yes, I can uh. scrub up, can't I? What do you think? Uh. Too much. It's a lipstick, isn't it? Or is it the hair? You prefer it down, don't you? Hey, I'm talking to you! I need to look my best! Your best? Yes, I want to look just right! Why am I still here? My husband is on his way back. I want you to meet him. But he's dead. No, he's not. He's coming home to me. Your husband is dead. Dad is dead. No, 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 no. He's coming here. He always comes here. You've just never seen him. You're not listening to me. You didn't hit me as hard as you could have, did you? You held back. Why, Joyce? Stop. I don't want you to talk. Tell me, Joyce, why did you hold back? Stop talking. I still have a choice. It's still up to me, so just shut up. <laughs> you said your husband is coming. What time is he arriving? What time is he arriving? Why don't you ever shut up? <laughs> what time is he arriving? <laughs> what time is he arriving? What time? Is he arriving? I know, I heard you. Why do you want to know? What's it to you? Oh, I just want to know who's coming. You're right. I do prefer your hair down. You've got nice hair. It looks nice down. Yes, you always did like it down. You always played with it with your chubby little hands. I did wonder. Oh, don't move. Still a head full of nothingness. Yes? Yes, of course she's one of mine. Well, since when? Well, she's never supposed to be unsupervised. I don't care how calm she was. Jesus Christ. 
W what about the tag? No. I'll do it. I know where that is. You like my hair? You look very lovely. Your hair is lovely. What? What did you say? Focus. Joyce? Just listen to me. There. You heard that. Stop it, please. Stop the pain. Ignore them, Joyce. Just listen to me. Just your John. Stay with me, Joyce. Please. No! You're supposed to stay here. You both wanted to leave me. You must. Oh, no, please. It. I don't want to. Fight it, Joyce. <laughs> It's making me. Oh, stop the pain, please. It it's not fair. Time's up, Joyce. Time's up, Joyce. Time's up, Joyce. Time's up. Hello? Joyce. One second, darling. My husband's here. Oh, darling. Oh, thank goodness you're home. You'll never believe what I've been through. I didn't kill him. I didn't want to. They tried to make me, but I didn't, see? I'm fighting them. That's good. You made a choice. A choice that you never gave yourself before. I don't understand. Yes, you do. Your family, you remember? Your husband. Your son. Look, I know you come here to try to work through the pain of what happened, but I need to take you back to the unit. But it's different this time. I made a choice. I did hit him. I'm sorry. I hit him. It's OK, Mum. He came back to me. <laughs> You're mummy's little darling, aren't you? <laughs> You're not my husband, are you? No. I'm your doctor. I'm Dr. Hadley. How are you feeling? Good. I'm feeling really good. Excellent. I knew this was a good idea. Bit of fresh air. This is my house. My retreat. I come here to unwind, get away from all the stress. It's beautiful. Mm. If you ever need a bit of air, a bit of space. <laughs> I'm not Mrs. Hadley. No. You're Mrs. Simons. Joyce Simons. No, darling, please! <laughs> I will get better. I, I will take my pills, I promise. My husband, he wanted to leave. Please, please don't do this. I will get better. I will get better, I promise. But he couldn't I leave. Take my pills every single day. I will, I will, please. Couldn't stay either. <laughs> Maybe he thought that leaving John behind was some kind of consolation. That's enough! Get out of my sight! Stupid little shit. I blamed my son for my husband shooting himself.
my child, my son. You're so frightened and I hurt you. I miss you. I miss you too. I'll be okay. I'm sorry, John. I love you, Mum. I love you too, my son. Is it over now? It's up to you. Maybe this is the last time you need to come here. your phone or anything just for a minute please what do you want do you know what time it is for god's sake please let me in i think i've busted my arm okay well hurry before we both freeze to death don't think poking is gonna i'm not going to poke it i'm sorry I want to talk about what I did to my son. I'm ready now. You don't need me anymore. 